Today we're going to discuss about the different examples in problem solving. What is problem solving? Problem solving is the act of defining a problem and later implementing a solution. So let us put it in this way. I have two points, point A and point B. Point A is the problem. Point B is the solution. In between of these two points are what we call problem solving. So, problem solving is the process of working through details of a problem to reach a solution. So, in line with this problem solving concept, let us have this best mathematician who able to conceptualize problem solving. And it is in the name of George Puglia. So, who is George Puglia? So, George Puglia born and died on 1887 to 1985. He was an Hungarian mathematician who immigrated to the United States in 19th century. So, obviously, his greatest contribution in the world of mathematics education is what we call problem solving as he designed the four-step process. And what are those four-step process? So, let us enumerate it and explain it as much as possible one by one. First is understand the problem, and the key word is C. This is the most crucial part of problem solving since most of the learner, students, or even the teacher fail to really understand the given. So it's really need more time to read it as much as possible, read the problem more than once. Here, devise a plan would be the second step, and the key word is plan. In this case, you really need to consider all the different strategies that will help you to picture out the solution in a given problem. So, it's really need some background or foundation so that you can able to draw a basic step or a major step for you to have the solution. Third is the carry out the plan. The keyword here is do. Obviously, in conducting the problem solving, it's really need to, for you to carry out it. So as much as possible, you need to review your mathematical skills, your logical skills, as well as your critical skills in order for you to follow all the important steps to arrive with the same answer or accurate answer. And lastly, we have look back which the keyword is check and interpret. So in this case, you're going to um, make some assessment whether your final answer fitted to what is really required or asked in the given question, especially the units, especially those values that are really suited to the given problem. So these are the four step process made by George Polya for us to really able to find the right solution with a step by step method in solving problem. Thank you and God bless everyone. Have a nice day.